Greetings critters, it's Fox here and welcome to my burrow of thoughts, aka my channel, where we talk about everything spooky. And today will be a double book review of something I read on my Kindle, which is Ghost Camera, and also Dead Lake by Darcy Coates. So settle into your burrows because things are about to get spooky. The first short I'm going to start with is Dead Lake by Darcy Coates. And a little bit about the plot of Dead Lake, um, there is an artist, Sam, who is struggling with artist block, and she decides to borrow her uncle's secluded cabin and go up there for about a week to try and create enough for her show's deadline. But when she sees a big hulking man at the end of her dock that her uncle told her she should not be on, she gets a little wary, but when she sees the same man lurking in the trees, staring at her from afar, the need to create becomes a need to create to escape. My thoughts on Dead Lake by Darcy Coates are theming. I am so happy that I bought this physical copy because it does have four other super short stories in it, but they're all really good. And unfortunately, they're just a little too short for me to include in this review. But if you do like short story anthologies, I would give Dead Lake by Darcy Coates a try. So that being said, let's get on to the review. So I'm an artist. So I found the character Sam to be super relatable. I myself have struggled with grief and she struggles with grief throughout this book of the loss of her mother and I felt that that character development was really well done and it was just enough for the, the length of the book so I really appreciated that. Also the pace and the action sequences that are in this short novella or short story rather. It was very well done, and I loved how she mixed tropes together. I love that. I'm not going to get too involved about it. It's too short of a story for, for me to get too in-depth of a review, but the tropes she used really mingled well together, especially when it came to the ending. It all interweaved very well, and it gave me such a satisfying feeling when I finished Dead Lake by Darcy Coates. Um, so, that being said, I am rating this four tails out of five. Um, the only complaint I have about it is that I feel like it would have been a great full-length novel for her, although I loved it as a short as well. And that being said, I think that this would be a really great basis for a low-budget film. So. That's saying something. So, all in all, Dead Lake by Darcy Coates. Highly recommend this. Okay, critters. Next up, I have something I read on my Kindle. I love this case. It's sparkly and shiny. Um, and that would be Ghost Camera by Darcy Coates. And a little bit about the plot of this. A very simple premise. Um, a woman is at a wedding and she decides to go up into a lighthouse to take a big group shot. And she ends up finding an old Polaroid camera. And when she develops a photo from the group shot, she sees there are several different people in there that aren't physically at the wedding. And things ensue from there. So, Ghost Camera is all about spirit photography phenomena, which I am so into and about. I love reading about it. I love reading and seeing the actual, you know, ghost photos and the phenomena itself. And I also love reading about the phenomena. So that really struck a chord with me and made me really enjoy this short read. And it is super short. It's only a hundred and some odd pages, maybe close to 200, but it is really simple, but really well executed. The simplicity really helped what happened in the book be amplified and also the characters were great i love the two friends the girlfriends you know trying to figure out this camera together 
that was really cool. So for the short length, the characters are pretty well developed and rounded. So I really like that. And they were diverse. There were a lot of, there were about three or four characters that are throughout the book. And I found all of them enjoyable and prudent to the story's development. So love the characters. Then there is the uh, pace very well done because the coexist with the amount of ghostly activity that is happening to our main character and the ghost activity let me tell you if a ghost is scratching me or touching me on the nape of my neck whew, <laughs> i'd be figuring out that camera like uh the main character does lightning speed i would not be okay with what these ghosts are doing and i love the premise of the mystery of camera why it does what it does and how it came to be all of that was great i love the premise it was great and then um the ending again another satisfying ending by dorothy coates which i find is something that she's really strong at doing is executing a really solid well-rounded ending some of them can be a little bit ambiguous but most of them are nice and neat and wrapped up in such a great way. I loved it. It was a nail biter for me. I really do recommend Ghost Camera and Dud Lake by Darcy Coates. Well, Critters, that's all from this Den of Rights. I love and I appreciate you all so, so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. It means a whole wide and wild wilderness to me. It really does. Thank you so much again. And until next time, Stay cozy, stay spooky. Bye.